Okay, I have a little over unity experiment here with the uh, hemorrhoidal transformer. This has shunt bars that take the uh, back EMF magnetic currents every time the AC switches uh, polarity and it brings it over here following the path of least resistance and reinforces the opposite secondary and bypasses the primary leg. Very simple and you do the same thing over here also it seems to be working both ways it goes this way and this way. Some of it might collide and cancel some of it might get through. I have these steel laminates I cut 22 gauge steel plus these skirts I call them that catch some of the sideways flux coming out of the secondary legs and there's a varnish between each plate so it'll cut eddy currents and now I have this clamp here to keep it tight in, uh, here's a three-phase transformer, so that's what's inside of here. There's a three-phase transformer right in there. Okay, so I've been working about an hour trying all sorts of different caps, different resistive loads. The resistive load really makes a difference if it's going to be over unity or 80% or even Steven or 90% or whatever but I came up with a 50 ohm resistor here it's actually two 100s in parallel this will get pretty hot after a while and right now I'm just using the grid so it's 120 volts 60 Hertz coming from the grid this is the amps input and I have it in the milliamp setting so it's more accurate and this is the volts across the uh, 50 ohm resistor and I have the voltage in AC I have the current in AC and everything's 60 Hertz so it should be pretty accurate so I'll start out with just basically taking the, the AC input, the two white wires. One goes in here and then the other goes in here. The primary that it powers is the central one. This one and this one are in series. This is the secondary. And the two secondaries in series come out here and then I put it across the 50 ohm resistor. To find the watts output I times whatever the voltage is which will be here times itself so you square the voltage and then you divide by the ohms by 50. And the input is going to be 120 volts times whatever the uh, amps is here. Okay. Amps here. Voltage output here. 50 ohm resistor. And here we go. I'm going to plug it in. Now we have 16.2 volts across a 15 ohm resistor. That's the output. So let's do this real quick. Hold on. It's 5.2 watts output with a 50 ohm resistor. It's getting warm a little bit hot. It's definite power being made. Now, we have uh, 44 milliamps of current going into it, which is not over unity, so that's like uh, 
four times whatever that is whatever this is times 120 volts but watch this I take a 4 UF cap I put it parallel across the primary leads one here and one here now this 44 is going to turn into 14 so watch isn't that nice so now we have an input of 14 milliamps 14.2 milliamps times 120 volts remember the outputs 5.2 volts so just a moment Here's what the input is, 1.7 watts, and that is 120 volts. Times 0 0.0142, so that's what the input is, and that equals 1.7 watts. The resistor is getting fairly hot. So 1.7 watts input with a 4 UF cap across the primary. This is what you'd call a power factor correcting cap, I guess. Now Let's look at the output again, one more time, which is 16.1259.2 divided by 50 ohm resistor. Five point one watts output, one point seven one in. This is with the power grid. So that's okay. Hemorrhoidal transformer. Okay, thank you for watching.